everybody welcome to my channel my name is Maya Alexis and I'm a senior computer science major before I get into this video I just want to thank everybody that has been extremely supportive of me with my graduation picture I've been having so many messages where I have just about cried from the way people have been telling me how I've been an inspiration to them and stuff and I hope that these videos that I'm going to start making on YouTube are helpful to you um, so a lot of people have been messaging me on Twitter and on Instagram about different advice when it comes to majoring in computer science and how they're struggling like I was struggling. So this video is for people that are already in computer science and that are kind of really struggling right now and just need some advice on how to get through the major. So before I get into the tips on how to overcome obstacles in computer science, I will kind of tell you a little bit more of my story. So I came to UNC Charlotte undeclared because my ACT scores were so low that um, I didn't get in for computer science. But even though I was undeclared, I was still able to take the intro computer science classes at my school. So when I was in those classes, I was very, very insecure about myself. I felt like I wasn't smart enough because the teachers would teach and I just didn't understand the material. When we were assigned projects, I would cry to my mom because I was so frustrated because I wasn't understanding the material or I would get stuck and not know how to fix it. Um, it was just very bad. I, I had a really bad experience at first. I would compare myself to people that would be in my groups who had been coding for years, even though they were my age, because they would talk about how easy it was, how the material was so easy that they were making 100s and 90s on the test, and I was making like 60s and 70s. So um, I was just comparing myself. I just thought I wasn't smart enough. I wasn't good enough. I didn't fit in. So... Um, one day it just snapped for me that I cannot continue to struggle through computer science by myself. I need to go get support. So the first thing you need to do if you're struggling in computer science, well, if you're in computer science in general, join an organization that's related to your identity and computing. So for example, I'm in the National Society of Black Engineers. Even though the name says engineers, it's for all STEM majors. And while I was in the organization, I've met plenty of upperclassmen computer science majors that really, really helped me during the time when I was struggling in my underclassmen years. So join organizations. If you're a woman, there's an organization for women in computing. Look on your school's website to see what kind of organizations are out there for people who are engineers in computer science. That would really help you. That's where you'll find your support. That's when you'll find motivation and inspiration. The next thing you need to do is Find people in your classrooms that you can become like buddies with. So, for example, when I see another woman or a black woman that's in my classes, I go up to her. I introduce myself to her and say like, hey, like, do you want to exchange phone numbers so we can kind of get through this class together? And ultimately, I end up creating whole group chats for people that look like me in my classes so that we're able to support each other, help each other and get through these hard classes together. When it comes to you having coding assignments or like big major projects, where you have to code something start the assignment well in advance before the due date you need to do this because it gives you time to really sit down and take time to program the assignment so that if you do end up getting stuck you're not rushing and spending an entire day just doing the assignment because it's due at 11 59 the next day if you start early in advance you can take breaks you can come back to it with fresh eyes when you feel a little frustrated that you're stuck on something. So always start early. Don't procrastinate. While you're in your classes, don't be afraid to ask the professor questions. You're literally paying for this degree and they're getting paid to teach you. So don't ever think a question is stupid or if you feel like uncomfortable to ask questions in front of a whole group of people, go up to your professor after the class and ask the question. Or you go to the office hours that your professor has or go to the teaching assistant's office hours and ask the questions that you have. But ask questions you'll never know until you ask. And when it comes to concepts you don't understand, don't wait until you have a major project due or a test coming up to go get help about it. 
The day you don't understand a concept, go get help. Go to tutoring. Like I said, go to your professor's office hours. Go to the teacher's assistant's office hours. But go right then and there. Don't wait until something major comes up and then you're cramming to try to understand it. Another big thing is when I was in lab classes where I would have a partner and we would do coding assignments together and I really didn't understand so my partners would usually do all of the code. I would take that code and go home and analyze it and run it and see why that code works. Because if you go let someone else like your partner do all the code, you still don't know how to do it. And most times when you have like lab assignments, you can apply that stuff from your labs into your regular coursework. So go through the code. If your teacher has code in their class that they display or like post on whatever site your school uses for academics, look through the code, understand it because this is stuff you need. A big thing a lot of computer science majors go through is stress. To relieve stress for me, if I was assigned a project and I just cannot figure it out, I'm stuck on the part, the code is not working, but I've done a majority of it, I just submit the code. Submitting half of the code or more than half of the code is way better than getting a zero or not turning it in on time. So if I just get to a point where I've come back and looked at it multiple times and I just can't seem to understand why my code is not working, I just let it go. Same thing for when I have test scores that are horrible and I study so I beat myself up about it. Don't do that. It's, it's just going to be a great C's get degrees, not trying to say like don't try to aim for all A's, but don't beat yourself up. We all are new in introduction classes. Not everybody grasps concepts that fast. Just try your hardest, but don't beat yourself up about it. It's just a grade and there's more to life than the grades that you are assigned in college. The biggest thing I would say is Google is your friend. Do not be scared to Google things and try to understand things. I have a whole list of websites that I use when I'm struggling. So I'll go through some of them, but I will leave in the description bar a whole list of all of the websites that I use. So the first one is Geeks for Geeks. I love Geeks for Geeks. They have all types of programmer languages on there. They go through all different types of concepts. The same thing goes for tutorial point everything is on there they'll show code samples for the different concepts those two are, are really big for me and i'll leave the rest in the description bar but all of those are top-notch free websites another one i want to highlight is github student pack so github is a software company and they released a student pack that's full of different free things that you can have if you have a student id so if you have a student username you can apply on the github website and receive all of that and there's two different um, programs on there that you can use to learn different coding languages so i would definitely use those if you're struggling in your classes with a programming language I overcame my obstacles with math by reteaching myself what my teacher would teach in lectures during the week. So I would go to class, pay attention, try to take notes, and then I would go home and dedicate a certain amount of time to where I would reteach myself what I learned. I would use YouTube. A lot of the people on YouTube are great teachers. I would go through the different sample questions that they would have. I would write through the problems, see if I could solve it first and then see what the solution was to check against mine. And if, if my solution was wrong, I would look at the video to see how they explain why the solution is the correct answer. And then I would just go on like Google and find different problems and work through the problems and then check the answer sheet to see if I was correct with it. So throughout all of this, even with computer science, just get in the habit of reteaching yourself the material just to leave you with a little encouragement you first have to believe in yourself 
No matter all of this stuff is going on, people are telling you maybe you should drop or people are telling you, why aren't you understanding this? This is supposed to be easy or you should already know this. None of that matters. You have to believe in yourself and be determined and willing to do what you have to do to understand the material and succeed in this major. I believe in you, so you need to believe in you. And if I was able to get through this major, I know that you can. That is all that I have for this video. Please stay tuned for more videos coming soon on my channel.